friends. Welcome to day two of my Nutcracker wrap series. And today I am going to be doing a wrap inspired by coffee or the Arabian dance. So something you may or may not know is that uh, when Tchaikovsky wrote the Arabian dance, uh, he based it off of a lullaby from the country of Georgia. And so I was very inspired uh, by traditional Georgian dress and styling for the wrap that I am going to do today, which of course is going to be in lovely brown and cream tones. So I am going to start, and I'm not wearing a shaper, I just have a velvet headband on. And I'm going to start with a shimmery scarf in brown with copper threads. And I am going to put this on like I am going to do a Shira Tails because that is essentially what we are going to be ending up with. And I'm going to put it on an angle. I sort of want uh, this shimmery to look like hair because I'm going to be using it to create uh, two long uh, braids in the front, which you will see is very uh, traditional in Georgian dance. And I am just going to measure this out. And that looks pretty good, actually, for sheer tails. I want to make sure that I am giving myself as much length as possible. Um, if you check my video, Birthday Sheer Tails, I have a little hint on there for how to fix your tails if they come out uneven, but it does involve making them shorter and I don't want my tails to be any shorter today than they absolutely have to be. So I am now going to bring up my second end here, just like so, and create a V at the front. Just double check the length of my tails one more time. That looks good. And I am going to tuck it back through itself. And so sheer tails are not um, necessarily a style that I would usually do without a shaper. Um, but as you will see, it is not going to matter that this is a little bit of a mess right now. We don't care. It's getting covered up. So I don't want really any of my hair showing this time because I want this to look like my hair. So now for my second scarf, I am going to use this uh, golden Israeli tichel in dark brown. And I have folded it in a triangle and folded this top edge down to minimize the amount of uh, bulk that I'm going to have in the back. And I have also taken pains to make sure that the tag on it is going to be the triangular bit because I am going to tuck that under and my other ends are going to be pretty prominently featured. So I'm going to bring this up and bring it just behind my little V right there and then I'm going to take my ends and tie them. I'm not going to tuck them underneath. I'm going to tie them on top of the first knot that I created. Because again, it doesn't really matter since we are going to be putting yet a third scarf on over top of this. So that slipped back a little bit as I was tying it. Sometimes when you get a little bit of scarf on scarf action, things will start to slip a little more because it's not as grippy as uh, your velvet headband. And I will have those out. And now I'm going to take my bottom edge here and tuck it underneath. Just right at the nape of my neck. So I now have these two ends that are actually about the same length. And that is exactly what I want. So I am going to, and this is something uh, I'm specifically doing for this look. It makes it a little bit maybe less wearable for the day to day, but you could always skip it. Um, I will include links to some of my inspiration photos. And I am going to take this headband 
and bring it right across my forehead like so. And you'll see if you look up uh, images of traditional Georgian dress, you'll see sometimes that women wear these headbands across the forehead just like that. So I thought it added a really beautiful, fun cultural element. And then finally, also echoing something from traditional Georgian fashion, I have this other Israeli tichel um, in cream with gold threads. And any, um, any white or cream uh, square scarf would work beautifully here. And I folded it in a triangle, but a little bit off to create a little bit of extra length. And now I am going to use this as a veil. And so it's going to cover up. I have some elastic in the back here, and that doesn't matter because we are not going to see that in the final look. Now, from here, you have a couple of options. So the first uh, is to take these two scarves on either side and give them a little bit of a rope twist just like this, and then um, tie them off with some kind of elastic at the bottom here. You really do need something extra. They won't stay uh, if you just leave them like that. And if you try to tie them, it also just doesn't work out. Um, so that is one option. And then you have these, and then you can take the veil and using any method of your choice, you can secure it at the back of your head to the side, you can use hijab magnets, you can use um, even a safety pin, sometimes I do that. Although this is a trick that I picked up from South Asian uh, social media. If you want to use a safety pin on your scarves in order to keep it from snagging, what you wanna do is put a bead or a sequin on it. And because what that will do is it goes in between the fabric that you're threading on here and this little coil, because that coil is what is going to snag your scarves. That's what's going to ruin them. And by putting a bead here, you prevent that from happening. So I instead am going to take my ends and I am going to braid them in. And I'm going to bring this from behind because I want to leave as much veil down as possible. And then I am going to braid. So I have my two brown and one cream. And also um, in the Caucasus, sometimes women will um, wrap pearls around their braids. And so this also sort of is a cultural reference to that. And then when I get to the bottom, I am going to take my two Israeli tickle ends, and I am just going to tie those right in a little knot, just like so. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Bring this end through somewhat loosely to make sure that I have as much of my veil hanging in the back as possible, and braid it down. and tie off. And that is the final look. So here it is, my uh, wrap tribute to the Arabian dance, to coffee, to Georgian traditional fashion. And here's what it looks from the side. From the back. And the other side. So uh, I hope you enjoyed my coffee wrap. Please let me know if there are any particular favorites that you have in the Nutcracker that you'd be interested in seeing me do a wrap inspired by. And until next time, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching.